Hi and welcome. This is a pile group on plan and section. And here is survey work ongoing to set out the pile position. Now, uh, my name is Gertrude Ndeto and I'm going to take you through the procedure of drilling and casting a board cast in situ pile. Now, uh, once the pile position has been determined and verified, the rig will set the position of the pile. Then drilling will start. Now, uh, piles can go up to depths of 90, 60, 50 meters, depending on the design of the load that it's going to carry. The first thing is for us to understand that a pile foundation is used when the bearing capacity of the soil is so poor that it cannot carry the structure. So uh, when other foundations cannot work, the piling uh, is taken up. Of course, yeah, it's expensive, but uh, it's what works for me mega structures to make sure that they are strong enough. So uh, the pile, uh, we were talking about the drilling. The drilling will commence. Now the drilling is carried underwater because underground with water because, uh, you know, friction and the rocks underground and a slurry. Here, depth confirmation is ongoing by sounding. And here, the steel cage, which is fabricated before, is being inserted. And again, the pile depth is confirmed. Uh, you can see here the steel cage confirmation uh, ongoing before. Here, uh, the steel cage is being welded and overlapped into place. Uh, this would mean that the pile depth was longer than the standard size of a uh, reinforcement bar. For example, here in Kenya, it's 12 meters. Uh, so you can see me there confirming the uh, overlap lengths and the spacing of the links. So after drilling, uh, we confirm the pH and viscosity of the, you know, we remember we said there is use of water. Uh, so you, you confirm the pH and the viscosity of that uh, whether, whether it's bentonite slurry, uh, that's the viscosity test. Yeah, there's a, a time specified, 30 seconds, I think. Uh, the trimmy pipes have been inserted before there uh, because now the trimmy pipes are the ones that will drive the concrete underground because there's no other way to concrete. You, you use trimmy pipes that displaces the water. Remember, we used the water and it, it is not going to be pumped out. Because the water is what helps the the borehole stay in place without collapse. So you are not going to pump out the water. You are just going to use the trimmy pipes and concrete under pressure and displace the water. So after concreting, you'll confirm uh, your your height. If you are the height you wanted your pile to reach has been achieved uh, by dipping. So you get the difference of your concrete and the ground levels yeah it's a simple calculation so during concreting uh, pouring through the trimmy pipe uh, you are going to make sure that's why we are dipping here the the depth you are going to make sure that uh, the concrete that you have poured versus the trimmy pipe that the trimmy pipe is always inside the concrete at any given time uh, the, the, all these things are in the specification the standard specification uh, and the pile head, the position at which uh, we have the top, uh, in most cases and in our specifications, it's the top one meter of the contaminated concrete. That is going to be uh, trimmed off and cut off, including the reinforcement. It's go the reinforcement will be embedded into the pile cap, but the concrete will be cut off and discarded at blinding level. So that's the pile cap. And uh, you can see that the reinforcement from the pile has been embedded into it. So there are different types of piles. We have the uh, the socketed ones, which are end bearing. They transfer their loads to the rock under. Those ones are, have to be socketed to a determined specified depth. Uh, the friction piles. There is no rock where the piles will rest, so they are they are 
they carry the loads uh, by friction. You've been seeing a lot of slump tests. The concrete for piles has a high flow plasticity and the lab uh, will design uh, the slump for that. It is special because the concrete has to flow easily. So the slump is high, but, but the water cement ratio is designed. It's not just water added into, into that uh, to achieve the high slump. Mm, uh, another thing is the pile depth. Of course, we talked about the pile depth, which is uh, the difference between the pile cutoff level where now the one meter below the top of the uh, pile, be, one meter below the pile cap, that's the pile cutoff level to the founding level of the pile, that is the, the pile depth. After you construct your pile, it achieves its strength. You will carry out a pile loading test, which is what I'm doing there with my colleagues uh, to determine how strong your pile is. We'll talk about that another day. Uh, so my name is Gertrude Ndeto, uh, Madam Engineer. Uh, subscribe and uh, watch further. In the next two minutes, uh, you can watch on and see the pile load test setup, but we'll discuss the details in another video. Thank you. Finish Good. Bye, Asana. Bye, Asana.